Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. I'm excited to teach you a cabbage rose today. And what we're gonna do is use my reusable teaching guides and our wonderful folk art multi-surface paint. And that makes these roses possible, I promise you. So we've got wicker white and magenta, and then we're using citrus green and sap green. We've got these in our double loader ready for us. And the beautiful thing about this also is that we have two brushes that we're gonna be using. And those are my one stroke number 12 flat and a two script liner. So as we work on here, we're gonna wipe off with a wet paper towel or a baby wipe and reuse this over and over. So as we're doing this, I wanna put some shading marks so you can learn the colors and how you want it to look. We're gonna take this brush and um, wet it and then dry it on the paper towel. Then we're gonna go between the two um, colors and split the brush right in the double loader. And then we're gonna come right here and work it in. So I work it in really quick and with pressure. All right, then I come back and get more paint. And this time we're not gonna push so hard. All right, we're just gonna have a nice blend on the surface of the brush. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna come right across here and see if we like the blend. All right, if it's blended nice. And this is a little stroke that you're gonna do over and over and over. So if you can get this one like you want it, then it's gonna work really good to make this rose. Now, I want you to uh, see this movement. I'm gonna to touch here. I'm kinda of moving the brush so you can see it. Try to hold your brush handle straight up and down as much as you can, and the bristles doing the work, okay? So one, two, three, and then I want you to, to scrub like you're scrubbing the floor. All right, and then stand up. All right, so you might wanna wipe that a few times and do that very important stroke because it's also gonna help you when you do your leaf, okay? So one, two, three, scrub and pull as you go, all right? So now let's put those here and that's after you practice and you feel very comfortable with it. That's what the usable guide's gonna help you do. All right, it's gonna teach you right here. So now I want you to have the brush half sprung so if you push it all the way it's too much if you're up here it's too much so it's halfway with pressure and we're going to come all the way around okay. let's pick up some more paint and let's go one two three four and five Okay, so now after you get comfortable with those petals looking good in a circle, all right, usually about five strokes, all right, and keep this load right here nice and clean. All right, now we're going to then put this bud in the middle. So when you're doing that bud, it's right here, up and over. Okay, then you start exactly where you started there, and you're going to do a U. So you come right across here. So we're sliding a little bit on here, but it's good. All right, so we're gonna go right up here. This helps you figure out how to handle painting on glass. All right, so I need a little bit more of the stronger paint so you can do your next row. So see, we're going all the way around here and do another row. Now, the important thing is, is not to get these streaks, but to go ahead and get that smooth blend, all right? And it'll be easier on this paper for me to show you, I mean, on our project to show you. Okay, so let's pick up again and let's flatten the brush. 
All right, so now we feel comfortable with the rosebud. We're going to go up and over, and then we're going to make a U. And then when we pick up paint, we're going to come right there, and we're going to do right from that edge where the rosebud was. And then we're going to continue to do our, all these strokes all the way around. All right, now the last strokes are right here. These are the ones that I want you to listen really careful. You're going to you're going to start right here, touch, you're going to lean the white and then you're going to lift the brush as it comes around. Touch, lean the white and lift up under there. All right? So, it's the leaning that you have to think about. Touch, lean and stand up. Touch right there where you started that last that bud and come under there. And then you can just add one or two more and you're done. So see this? There's three there. Okay, so let's put those on first. Now what happens is it's going to be easier because it's not so slick on here. Just show you how to do this. Okay, so let's do right here. One, two, three. And let's do a nice smooth movement. And then we're going to come right here and do another one. Keep the guide there so you see where to go. It says two right there and then three. Okay. And you make sure you keep going back and getting smooth. All right. So I don't like that. So I brush it on my paper towel. And I just go right back over my stroke. All right. So pick up some more white, just flatten it out and get a good color and come over here. And one more is right here. Okay, so now let's add our bud on here. Right here, up and over. And then we're going to make a U. Okay, now let's do our second row. So we had our outer skirt. Now we're going to come right here. And go one. Come on this side. Two. Pick up more paint. Flatten the brush. And one more. Okay, now remember this stroke where I've got really good white. So I'm going to, you can clean this up here and go up and over again. And then do the U again and clean it in case those petals touched it. <clears throat> so then I'm going to go start here. And what we want to do is we want to touch and lean the white out and slide across. So when we touch over here, touch, lean the white out, and then slide up under there. And look right here, one, two, and we finish, okay? So then what we want to do is let's put a couple of rosebuds in here. So we're going to come up here and go one, two, three, four. All right, and we're going to put the calyx around that that we're going to learn. All right, so let's come here. One, let's get more white. One, two, three, and another one here. One, two, three. And then we're going to put all our greenery in here, all right? So I'm going to come over here. And let's practice the leaf. Now, if you can get this like you want it, I didn't wipe that off. There we go. All right. When you get this like you want it, not if, <laughs> well, then we are going to have an easier time with the leaf. All right. So we dry the brush and we're going to go in between these two colors, split the brush and work it in citrus green, sap green. We're going to get a little bit more. There you go. So we can also tap this and it'll spread it out. Okay. So now what we're going to do, there are a couple of leaves. So I want to turn it this way to show you. On this one, I'm going to push down and stand up to a chisel. 
So you start there. I call this a slider leaf. It just slides. All right. Then on here, we have a V. So we start right here. And we're going to start doing that shell, that shell petal. All right. And then we stop. See the shell? Now we stand up and slide to a tip. Same thing here. We see the V. Scrub till you see the shell and then stand up. All right. So let's show you how to put them together now. Okay. And we're going to come right here and we're going to have this half sprung. It's not all the way down. It's not all the way up on the chisel. All right. And then we take the chisel and we pull a stem in the middle. So see how nice that shading is? These are going to help you because you get to practice a lot with them until you feel comfortable. And I also did some of the slider leaves with a little floating medium and made little shadow, um, shadow leaves in here. So the first thing I do is I go over here to the rose and I'm going to make right in here, right up against the petals. I'm going to see the shell and then I'm going to stand up. All right, I'm going to come right up in here. I've got the sap green on the outside edge, and then I'm going to pull a stem into it. All right, so I'm going to do one more big leaf over here. All right, so let's do it right up here. All right, now see this movement I'm doing. I'm going scrub scrub see the shell and then stand up now the good thing you don't have to have a v because we're against the petal but if you put a leaf out here you might want to remember that v now look at this really good there's the v i'm talking about all right so now we're going to come around and put these little leaves that i was just talking to you about that we practiced all right so i'm going to put a little one two three I'm going to put a little bit more green. There we go. One, two, three, and right up here. All right, so we're going to pull those down. And then we're going to do some small leaves in here. So um, we're going to have some vines where I add some of the pink. All that's on the chisel of this brush. And what you do is you're lifting the front and you are dragging those last bristles behind, okay? So we're gonna do one, two, three, and pull the stem into each one of these right off the chisel. All right, I'm gonna put some more on there. Okay, now we're going to take floating medium and pink. So the floating medium and pink. And we're going to take and make these transparent leaves here. They're shadow leaves. And we like putting these around. And you can pull stems into those too. Put a couple here. And we did practice a little bit of curly Q on here, which will make it easier for you to add those last little curls. All right, so you roll that, wet the brush and roll it. And then I want you to practice some on here or on a piece of paper and get that movement, okay? So you're gonna touch here and you're gonna go one, two, three, and have a curl. 
All right, so you got to turn this because you're pulling it away. Then you can also, until you feel more comfortable, come in here and just do a wave. There you go. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint. Mm -hmm.